So we've identified a, well, a considerable number of genes that can increase a person's risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. And there's a small number of genes where if you, if you have a particular genetic change, you know, that, that will cause, if you inherit that particular change, that, you know, that will cause you to have uh, uh, or, or develop uh, Alzheimer's disease. But these are very, very rare and the majority of people don't have those particular genetic risks. So around 40% of patients with frontotemporal dementia have a family history of disease. So that tells you that genetics plays a very large role in the development of that condition. So we've currently identified three main genes that cause familial frontotemporal dementia. Uh, and that, those genes are tau, progranulin, and a, a new uncharacterized gene called C9 of 72. And the mutation or the genetic change that we see in C9 of 72 can also cause motor neuron disease as well as frontotemporal dementia. So, if, if a patient has a family history of dementia, whether it's Alzheimer's disease or frontotemporal dementia, we know a few genes that cause these diseases. So, if you have that particular family history, then we can screen for those genes now and we can establish whether you do have a genetic form of, 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 of dementia in those particular cases. However, as, as research develops over the coming years and we have a, a better and a fuller understanding of the genetic cause of dementia, then it, it's going to be entirely feasible that at some time in the future we'll screen someone's entire genetic code, we'll sequence their genome and, es and estimate their risk of, 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 of developing dementia and many other diseases as, as well.